In this video, I'm going to show you how I completed this $1,000 upgrade project solely by using AI. I will show you the method I use to find jobs like this. I will show you how you can fulfill them by only using AI tools. And as a bonus, I will show you the best way you can apply to these jobs to 5x your hire rate. And yes, I do mean 5x. So the first thing that we need to do is go to upgrade.com and find a job that we want to complete. There are four categories of jobs that I would personally advise you to apply to that you can easily fulfill with AI. Website and app building, anything else related to coding, market research and copywriting. For this video I will go with website slash app building since these jobs are typically higher paying. So the first thing you have to do is to actually go over to the search bar and search for the job you want to complete. I will personally search for website building and over here we can see all the potential jobs. Now we obviously are not going to search through them one by one. We will apply filters so we can find the jobs we are looking for easier. So since this is a prerequisite for the video, I will come over here and click on fixed price and I will select a minimum of $1000 just to show you how easy it is to complete jobs like this. I will also scroll down here to project length and I will select less than one month so we don't get tied to a long term contract. If you want you can search for more but for the purposes of this video I will select less than one month. And these are all the filters I will use. I will also come over here and make sure that I sort the results by relevance because I want the most relevant job post for exactly what I'm looking for. And now we basically need to go over all of these and find which ones we can complete with AI. The ones that we can complete, we can just add them to our favorites and we will keep going until we have like 10 to 20 jobs that we can apply to. Or we can use an even better and easier way to find the exact job post we want to complete with AI, which is none other than to go over to ChatGPT and type. Give me 10 job posts on Upwork that are either website or app building related that I can easily fulfill with AI and they have a budget of at least $1,000. Give me links to the job posts and I will click on enter. This way ChatGPT will literally search the web and find the exact job post that we can fulfill with AI, saving us the time of having to do the research ourselves. As you can see over here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and all of these job posts basically, in which we can see the information about the job posts over here. If we want to check one out, we can simply click on the link and boom, this takes us to the exact job post on Upwork. And here we can see all the information about the job post and decide whether we want to do it or not. And the best part is, if we don't like any of those, we can just say, give me 10 more and it will literally give you 10 more job posts that we can apply to. How amazing is that? Now I went through a lot of job posts and favorite the ones that I thought would be the best to fulfill with AI, as you can see over here. And I found some pretty easy ones too. For example, this one, low cost vet app. It basically tells us to recreate an app called low cost vet, which is in the app store. It's very simple to do, especially when we can literally upload an image of an app and tell the AI to clone it exactly as it is. But for the purpose of this video, I want to do something a little bit more complex to show you guys that even jobs that might seem more complex at first are not that hard to complete with AI. They're actually pretty easy. For example, I found this job. Help me build a front end for my event posting website. Over here we have the summary. It tells us to create data entry forms for several tables, set some forms, create some login procedures and access business logic and database via HTTP and REST API. And reading that is the point that most non-technical people will literally say, oh I quit, I can do this job, it's very technical, but it is actually pretty simple guys. To find out whether you can actually complete it with AI, the only thing you have to do is to copy the description, go over to any AI model of your choice, I personally will use ChatGPT, paste it and ask, can I complete this job post with an AI no code builder like Lovable? And it will literally tell you whether you can complete it or not. As you can see it says yes, you can complete this job easily, but now I know what a lot of you might say. I don't know what a REST API is, there are a lot of technical terms, but the only thing you have to do to learn what a REST API is, is to simply ask, hey what is a REST API? Can you break down exactly how you can make this app in Lovable? And ChatGPT will literally tell you what the REST API is and also walk you through building the app step by step in Lovable. Amazing right? So as you can see here, if you don't know what a REST API is, it's basically a set of rules that allows your front end to communicate with your back end via HTTP links. Very simple. The only thing you need to do is ask the AI what you don't know and you will learn new things as you go. And that is the magic of using AI models. And now after we learned what a REST API is, let's actually start building this app in Lovable. But before we do that, let's ask ChatGPT to give us a prompt. So I typed, 
give me a starting prompt I can give to Lovable to start building the app. Make sure it includes all the functions we want. Since I don't know what the tables are, create some fake tables that fit with the topic of the app. If you remember guys, it tells us there will be 7 tables in the app, but we don't actually know what the categories of these tables are. So for the purpose of this video, we will create 7 fake tables, so we can move on with building the app. I come back to ChatGPT and click on enter. As you can see, ChatGPT literally gave us the prompt we can give to Lovable to build us the app. But I don't really like it. I think it's just too long. I found that with AI knockout builders, shoulder prompts, especially at the start, tend to do better. So I will simply say, hey, give me a shorter prompt, this is too long, and click on enter. Things like that will happen. ChatGPT, for example, might give you a bad result. You simply ask it to give you a better one, and it will literally change its response. As you can see over here, it literally gave me a way shorter prompt. So I will simply copy it, come over to Lovable, paste it in, and simply click on enter. And now Lovable has literally started building our website for us. How amazing is that? So I will be back with you once it is done. And boom, look at that guys. Lovable literally just created this amazing looking website. Over here we have a search for events function. We have feature events, which we actually need to add some inside it. It doesn't have any inside right now. Here we can browse by category, and here we can see how it works. Find events, book tickets, create events. Ready to create your own custom event? Get started. Let's click on browse events. Here we can search for events. Obviously we have no data inside it. Because there aren't any actual events over here. We'll need to add those ourselves obviously. And if we click on the category section, it doesn't work. We'll obviously need to fix that as well. Over here we have the login section and the sign up section. Let's see if they actually work. So let's say I click on sign up and it doesn't work. So we do have some work to do guys. But for this to be built with just one simple prompt, it is simply amazing. The first issue I think we should fix is the browse event section. Over here we obviously need to have some events so people can actually search for events. So what we're going to do is we're gonna come over here, click on chat mode so we can actually chat with lovable which basically means that whatever we tell it, it will not make any actual changes to the code. It will just give us its own suggestions basically without it actually using any of our credits as well. And I will type Hey, I want to add some fake events so people can search for them in the browse event section. And also I want you to create the data entry forms so people can add in the data about their own event. Let me know how you can do that. And I'll click on enter. So basically guys, what I did over here is ask Lovable how we can make the necessary changes to make the app exactly as a client would want. Lovable right now will literally give us a roadmap of exactly how we can do that. And just to explain to you what exactly happened guys, Lovable gave us all the suggestions are first. Adding fake events, creating event data, entry form, implementing our event page and all of these which are pretty good. But I noticed when I go to the home page and I come over here and click on get started it gives me this error. So I told Lovable it gave me this error as well and I asked it to give me a way of how it can fix that as well. Then I basically told it I want to implement this plan and the other plan. So both of the above plans and it gave me this roadmap of how I can implement all of this. And right now the only thing I have to do is come over here and simply click on implement a plan and now lovable will make all these changes that it suggested to us and boom look at that guys lovable implemented all the changes here we can see feature events and we can actually see all the fake feature events we have we can actually click on view all and look at that guys we have all these feature events this is simply amazing let's go back to the home page right here we can browse by category as well music tech, sports, food, drinks, and these are the tables that we mentioned before. So let's say I want tech, and over here we can see all of the tech events. Let's say I don't want tech events anymore, I want to go to a sports event. Over here we have all the sports events, this is simply amazing. And now let's go down here, ready to create your own event, and let's click on get started. And look at that guys. This is simply amazing. Lovable literally nailed all the changes exactly as we wanted. Here we can even sign up for Event Hub, which means that we can actually create an account. And once we create an account, we can actually insert our own event inside the app, which is literally exactly what the job was wanting us to do. So let me sign up and let's see if it actually works. So I filled in my information. This is a troll email, obviously. I don't actually own NFTs, guys. I'm gonna assume this is not gonna work. We probably need to connect to Superbase, but let's see. Let's click on sign up and it actually worked. I'm actually surprised. We didn't even need to connect to Superbase, guys. And over here, we literally have a custom dashboard and my event section. Oh, 
I can actually click on my dashboard. As you can see guys, it is kind of buggy here. This is obviously a very small fix, but it is kind of annoying. Like see, I can really click it. But I did manage to click it. And look at that guys, here we have my events. And underneath, we have a custom section of my tickets as well, where we can literally give tickets to whoever we want. So I will click on create your first event and look at that. Title, description, event date, category and venue. This is simply amazing. And we literally have done this with two simple prompts. I'm even surprised. This is honestly kind of ridiculous. So let's add a fake event. The event title will be vibe coding, obviously, because we are vibe coding right now. Description, the best vibe coding event on the planet. We will do it tomorrow. Here we need to select the category. It's obviously tech. And let's select the venue. Let's do it in the tech hub. Uh, and let's click on create event. And event created successfully. But as you can see, guys, no tickets are available for this event. We'll obviously need to arrange some tickets. We also have the option to write a review. So we can click here. It doesn't actually work. But this is a very good idea for a section. And over here, we have the event. Now let's come over here to browse events. And I will search for tech. And look at that, guys. Vibe coding. Our own event inside the browse event section this is simply amazing so now we need to go back to the home page and what we should do is actually connect it to a real database so all this information about these events is actually stored somewhere and doesn't get lost when we close the app to do that we will use superbase only thing we have to do is to literally come over here on the top and click on the superbase icon over here this is my superbase account if you don't have an account you can just simply create one you basically just spam next 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 and you will be done in like 30 seconds and now after you created your account over here you will be able to have your projects we'll need to create a new custom project for this one for the purpose of this video we'll create a new project to show you how it is done you simply come over here and click on create new project over here we need to name our project i will name it event app here we need to insert our database password i will use this password you can use whatever password you want obviously over here we select our region i will select the central eu region since that's where i'm from you obviously will select the region closest to you and simply click on create a new project and boom as you can see project status is now active if we go back to lovable we simply click on the super base icon again we come over here to our project event app and we simply click on connect and over here we click on connect again and boom look at that guys we are literally connected to superbase so right now we have a legit database for our website where we can install all the information that is inserted in our website now guys if we actually go back to the upward listing and look at the requirements use data entry forms and maintenance forms for several tables we have already done that search criterion forms we have already done that login procedures we have already done that so what is left now is to access business logic and database via HTTP and REST API now if you don't know how to actually do this you can simply do what I did and that is go back to lovable and ask it access to business logic and database have we done that as well or do we need to make any changes and lovable literally analyzed what I asked it and gave us a current status and what we need to do create database tables update API services which is basically creating database tables which we already do have but it it prompts us to create some real ones and not use dummy data for those. But the problem is we don't actually have the real data of the website, so we can't really do that. Then it suggested update API service, authentication integration, and data migration. And what I came down here and note is I want to migrate all of my fake data to Superbase as real data. So the website actually uses it. Also creating me a plan that I can actually implement. And I clicked on enter and now lovable will literally give us the exact plan of how we can do that so we can claim that we 100% completed the job post and lovable just finished creating the plan so all I will do is simply come over here and click on implement the plan and boom guys lovable managed to successfully integrate all of our data inside superbase now just to give you a quick run through lovable presented me two times with errors I just simply clicked on fixed error and it magically fixed them so now as you can see it literally says that we have successfully integrated all the data inside Superbase which means that we have successfully finished this whole job post we created this we created the user data entry forms we created the search we created the login and right now access to business logic and database via HTTP and the REST API we literally did everything and now it's time for the most important part of the video 
that's why I left it towards the end so only the people that watch till now are able to hear this which is how exactly are you gonna 5x your hire rate and massively increase the chances of you being hired in any job you apply in Upwork and it is very simple guys you're going to do this with Loom now once you install Loom which is a very simple process you basically just spam click on next and you have it ready in no time you will go over to the job that you want to apply to and you will record a custom video of yourself basically explaining why the person would pick you over everyone else and explaining how exactly you're going to complete the job so basically you're going to say hey my name is this I read your job if you have some experience maybe you can mention it if you don't that is fine as well you don't need experience to do the strategy and you will basically say I can do this, I have done similar projects, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. But now one excuse a lot of people might want to use is I don't want to record myself, I'm too shy, I don't want to be in a video. Guys, that's fine. If you don't want to record yourself, somebody else is going to tape the job from you. This is a very good way to differentiate yourself from all the competition. Because think about it, what does all the competition do? Literally, they take this, they copy paste it, touch GPT, they say, hey, give me text so I can apply to this job to get hired. And ChatGPT gives basically the same message to everyone, they all copy paste the same message. So when the person that has the job opens the job applications to look at them and sees the same message from everyone and sees, oh, this guy sent me a video and he opens it and it's basically you explaining why and how you're going to complete the job, he's way more likely to hire you over everyone else. And if you don't know what to say to the Loom video, you can simply use ChatGPT paste the job description and say I want to make a one minute loom video explaining why the client should hire me let me know what I should say and ChatGPT literally will give you a script of exactly what to say in the loom video so you can even use that excuse but is this how you're gonna 5x your high rate? no it's not I know you didn't expect that it will actually be a very good boost because you will differentiate yourself but the real way to 5 to 10x your high rate is simply by doing the work up front and what I mean by that is doing exactly what I did right now creating a prototype of the app and then combining this with a loom video so basically what you're going to do is go over to any any no code AI builder spend like 15 minutes creating a prototype and then record a custom loom video saying to the client hey I saw your job post I literally made the app for you you can see this is a prototype you can literally hire me I send you the code what person will not hire you if you actually did something like this now obviously this does require a lot more work up front but think about your competition everyone else on Upwork basically copy and pasted the same message from ChatGPT to the job post while you made the actual app and recorded a custom loom video showing the app like literally going over it saying hey this is the home page this is a browse events page and you can literally you literally go through the whole app showing the person that you actually built it he would be literally stupid not to hire you and hire somebody else like think of what the, your competition is doing they're all copy and pasting the same message while you create a custom loom video if you were that person and you were looking to hire someone which one would you hire Someone that just pasted a message from ChatGPT or someone that literally saw you, that literally almost completed the product you want them to make and they send you a custom video showcasing it to you and basically telling you, hey, just hire me and send you the code. The product's almost ready. I know which one I would hire and I think you know which one would you hire as well. Now, will there be some times where you will actually do the work and you will not be hired? Of course. But let's say you do this for 20 clients. Let's say it takes you 20 minutes to build the app and record the video. If you send that to 20 clients, won't at least five of them hire you? Like they will literally be stupid not to hire you. So that's a very smart way to actually get clients even when you have zero reviews and zero social proof simply by making the other person feel stupid of not hiring you this way you will actually be able to beat people with hundreds or even thousands of reviews on Upwork simply because you did the work up front it does take more time and effort but trust me it will be worth it now if you find this video helpful please type a comment down below it really helps boost the video in the YouTube algorithm but in any case guys hope you have a great rest of your week and I will see you in the next one